everybody survival Islanders back in with another video uh hearing a lot of uh problems with the uh, lobby teleporters so a few people are having issues with the leave button other people are saying well they just don't work in general well i'm gonna uh sit here real quick and i found a better way to show you guys how to do these so if you want to get one to work let's uh let's just take let's just get one going okay so let's start off with the leave button so there is this part and I don't think it was included with the model, so I'm going to hope to get an updated model. But you need to have a part in here called, with lowercase, leave room part. Now, I can change that. I can change the name of, the, of that. See, let me just... Just call that leave. If I literally just change this to the word leave... In, in capital and then go to test it uh, what's gonna happen here is uh, the button will work so we're gonna have that problem fixed as you can see I left Let's do it again there you go problem number two People are saying it doesn't work. Okay. Well, I wasn't did not I was not able to show through the first one um, because of this. Whenever I clicked on the gear icon to show, it did not appear in the video. But I'm using a better uh, recording device that uh, app that'll allow this. So to start out, you would go up here and you got to make another game. So you're in your own game. I, I'm you're in. Let's just say that this is what my game is called. I'm in my original start place. You want to have the teleporters go from the start place to the multiplayer game. So, okay, we want this one to be a single player. First of all, then you, like I've done here, you create a new place. This new place has just been created right here. Max player is 50. Why don't we edit that? One. Keep it at Roblox optimized. Do not change. Save. Now, for it to then work, right over here, uh, actually, you won't have this, so you go up here into view, and you go, let me just disable it. You can hit Asset Manager, Places, double click, find the one that you did. I did this one. Right click, copy ID to clipboard. I have now copied the ID. You're going to go into here, open the script. See these numbers? Delete, Control V, there. Just to show you that those numbers were different, this is the one I had before. Now we'll go to the new one. So, when I now obviously it will not do, it will not, I will not teleport through in studio. So, but now I will teleport to the game that I've created. Now, if you want to do ones with multiple players, for example, let's let's make a whole another one. Now they will all move to the same parts so like the leave part you, you don't need to have multiple leave parts they, they will I mean you can do that if you want this one will go to that one and then just uh, uh, go here I'll name this one two player then I'll just uh, open up the script again where was it where was it leave two and then I'll just call it the new part Leave two. Okay, now we want to increase the maximized amount of players. As I've said, two. Uh, right here, uh, I've now changed it to two. And then I went down here and I changed in players out of players two. I changed everything to two. So again, I would then have to go over and I would have to create a new place. Place. So I've already made one. I'll just show you what I did, but I'll do it again. Number seven, edit two people. Keep it at Roblox optimized. Save. I'm going to close out of Asset Manager again to get it to refresh, reopen it. Copy ID. Go to the script within number two. Paste said ID, and there we go. And as you can see, okay, so 
that is basically the gist of the video here. Um, just hope that this really helps answer a lot of questions, uh, comments, concerns, etc. Uh, got any other suggestions for us to do, uh, post it on the comments below. Give us a like and a sub, and we will see you all again in our next post of videos.